I will be very surprised if this one lasts too awful long. This is a Springdale 2980, which those numbers mean nothing to you, but it's a private front bedroom, a living room big super slide, and uh, a private rear true quad bunk. It is the simpler series of the Springdale family, uh, but I don't, that sounds derogatory. I don't wanna take anything away from this camper. What I love about it, it's a simple camper. It's not a jazzy pants glamper. It's about going out, having fun with the family, building memories. And to me, that's what camping's always been about. Although RVing can be a whole different lifestyle, this is still just a little bit more camping. You're just not doing it on the ground. What I like about this is this has been very well maintained. You can say it's a simple series camper, but like they added smart TVs all around this thing. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff still in it. They must just be done camping. I'm guessing given the type of floor plan, this is something that they went out with with the kids and the kids probably grew up because that's what, you know, genetically they are inclined to do. And they're probably not family camping anymore. My guess would be they're taking a little break until they find themselves a little couples camper that works for them. But there's hitching in here. There's extra jacks for stability. It has been maintained exceptionally well. This is a find, folks. This is a find. And I don't know if it's just because there's like a handful of the previous owner's stuff in here. I don't know if it's the warm colors on the decor. I don't know if it's the fact that, like, you don't have smell of vision You can't smell the fact that this was, like, deep cleaned. Like, you can see it, but you can actually smell that when you're in the RV. Uh, what, what I'm also gathering just by doing my RV CSI routine, camp scene investigator, Josh the RV nerd here, um, they didn't just clean this to bring it in for us to sell it. Like, I, I know what to look for. When people do that, if you start peeking like around the corners of the couch, you start looking under the dinette, you'll start finding all sorts of lint and debris and dirt and bugs and stuff. This is, this is really, really, really nicely kept in here. I'm very happy and very impressed with what I'm seeing. We have central heating in the floor, keep you warmer there in the uh, spring and the fall. We've uh, got central air up in the ceiling, keep you cooler during those hotter summer months. And I could say the bathroom is simple but effective, but I, I think you could actually really say that about the RV as a whole. I think that's actually a really good descriptor of this camper. It gets, it, it's just a super solid, like infantry soldier, workhorse level kind of family camper. But where I was really impressed is I started looking back here in the bunk room. I started looking for, uh, as the kids were climbing up and down in bed, did they tear things up? Did they scar things up? Did they bang into the window blinds or kick the ceiling on accident or roll over something? I couldn't find any of that. I couldn't find like human, even unintentional accidental abuse, collision, damage, or anything. And I'm told it was used, but it's just, it's a very good example of the fact that you, you don't, you don't have to have an amazing camper. To, to be a decent person, take amazing care of something. Now, this is one of uh, actually three TVs added to this RV. Oh, 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 I found something. I thought it, something fell off. Up here, you see little spots on the ceiling? There would have been a little runner right here for a privacy curtain to close off the bunks. Based on the way that's bulged out, I'm guessing one of the kids, as they were pulling it sideways, pulled down a little too much and probably popped it out. There it is, guys. The worst thing you're going to see in this camper all darn day. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's literally as bad as this one's going to get. That's a true U dinette, by the way, with full storage below. Folds down to a big old bed. That is a jackknife-style uh, bifold sleeper sofa. But with the four beds back here, the big U dinette, the master bed up front, you're already sleeping, what, six to eight? I don't think you're really going to need to worry about sleeping on that dinette uh, a whole heck of a lot. Now, I mean, check this out. As I uh, open these cabinets and look around, you can see there's a lot of stuff left behind. Like, they obviously had stuff dedicated, like, no, this is the camper stuff. Uh, you know, that the house stuff stays in the house, the camper stuff stays in the camper. And I've seen this before, and anytime I do, it always seems to be someone who's really well organized, who's really disciplined about taking care of things, and it really shows. I will tell you one little uh, point of caution, though, because I almost busted this. 
if you're not careful, like when you're traveling, <clears throat> find a way to uh, like tie that TV back, like put a bungee cord across the front of it before you take this home or after you do or something like that. Because when you're rolling down the road, the road vibrations can cause that TV to kind of swing out a little bit, which by the way, you obviously notice it's a swing out TV for easier viewing from the sofa or the dining out if you're stuck inside anyway. Um, but it could get caught behind that slide fascia and that fascia will absolutely lawn chair that TV if you're not paying attention. Now, up front here, it's a simple, no nonsense. Again, simple but effective. I, I I don't think I need to overstate it more than that. It's just a simple but effective thing. I'm also seeing like a lot of board games and stuff. Again, these people are really about reconnecting and, and making memories. And honestly, just by looking at the trailer, I want to camp with them. And when you're laying in bed at night, they even downward mounted a TV here in the bedroom so that, you know, when you're sitting on the pillow, like this is the pillow position right here. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. And I noticed back in the bunk room here, they added an Element TV. I myself have owned four Element TVs. If I had a fifth one, that would make it the fifth Element. Which at that point, I think it would only be appropriate that we name it Lilu Dallas Motipas. Now with the slide closed, there's something interesting that kind of happens here that I wasn't expecting. Uh, usually with a floor plane like this and a big super slide, you can't get between like that hallway and, and, and the slide and like the dinette. Now, don't get me wrong. This one's a little bit of a skinny butt squeeze, but you can uh, get back there. Well, you know, actually that phrase I think could have two different meanings. Uh, I think you know the context to which I'm referring in this video here. The bathroom is a little bit trickier, obviously. There is a way around that, however. Uh, because this is a rack and pinion slide, one of the benefits of that slide system is that if uh, it, it allows you, you can just partially open the slide a little bit to get past the slide and uh, to, to use the stuff back there. Now, you don't want to use the slide when it's partially deployed. You don't want to leave it that way. If you just nudge it, get in, get out, close it, though, perfectly fine. Now, one of the things you're going to see in this camper is it has incredible outside storage. Um, partially because it is just a simple series camper. They didn't have things like a camp kitchen they had to worry about space for. They just opened a ton of stuff up and uh, gave it a lot of storage. Now, that was obviously the front pass through. You saw a couple little folding chairs there. The hitch that the folks used is included with this. This is one owner, by the way. I didn't mention that sooner. I was just all gushing over the condition of it and waxing poetically about, uh, you know, connecting with family, which I think is cool and important. But this is a one owner RV. It was purchased uh, and maintained locally. Uh, they're just, I, I guess, done with it for a, a, a little bit. Um, frankly, I think the only thing I'd do with this is I'd just swap a power tongue jack on the front here and call it macaroni. Now, uh, the uh, RV, ironically, has four-corner power stabilizer jacks and a power awning. A little bit better look at that uh, hitch system right there for you. It looks like an old round bar uh, with chains, weight distributing, and uh, anti-sway combination kind of job right here. And if we get down here at skirt level, you see the power jacks, but you also see the enclosed underbelly. Amazingly, despite the fact that this is what I've referred to as the simple series, it still has an enclosed and forced air heated. Uh, teleporting to the backside here, we see there's really good clearance for the uh, sewer stuff, which is something I always try to look for as a person who camps myself. And remember those uh, bunks in the back? Because we didn't have to worry about a camp kitchen or anything like that, they were able to just open this up. This doesn't just have two full pass-through compartments. The rear one is, I think, at least 50% greater in capacity as compared to the one up front. Um, it doesn't have a ladder, but it does have a fully walkable roof. And uh, another really cool thing on these is uh, they actually have, um, there's only one seam in this floor. They use a uh, flooring decking on these called Dynaspan. It's uh, eight foot wide, but 24 foot lengths. So on a trailer like this, there only has to be one floor seam. And they usually put it in some place like that uh, bedroom door transition where there's so much construction on top of it, you're really not stepping on it anyway. What I like about that is there's less opportunities for squeaks and creaks and moans and groans. There's even fishing poles in here. Holy cow, they must have just really said, cash it in, Martha, we're done. 
So uh, if I've missed anything or have any questions, let me know. You can always check that link up in the video description uh, that I leave you for pricing and availability. And short of that, hit the like button on that video if uh, you appreciate what we do here for you or if you like the camper or both is okay too. <laughs> and when you're ready, we're ready. Until then, we'll see you next time. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and have a day one day, everyone.